Well, it's certainly been a while since we had something like this to open on the channel. This is the collector's case. This was provided to me free of charge by thecollectorscase.com. They contacted me after the whole nerd block fiasco to see if I would be interested in getting one of their previous blocks for free to offer my opinion on. So this box was provided for free, but you will be getting my honest opinion. Thecollectorscase.com offers a subscription service where every month you get a box with collectible memorabilia. Most of the ones that I've looked at come with the chance that you will win some sort of autograph based on the theme of the box. For example, this one here I know is Back to the Future themed, and there is a chance that there will be an autographed picture of Christopher Lloyd in here. We won't know until we crack into it. So it's a bit of fun. It targets uh, TV shows and movies and all that type of stuff, and there's a theme for every box, just like there was with NerdBlock. So let's dig into it, see what we've got, and uh, I'll give you my opinion on the quality of the product that's in it. Digging in here. So right off the bat, well that's kind of neat, there's these pieces of paper so that even after you crack it open there's some mystery involved. Well right off the bat, we have a Back to the Future Flux Capacitor t-shirt. That is pretty darn cool. This t-shirt's nice and soft, the fabric feels like it's decent quality. And the artwork on it, that's really nice. They offer shirts in all sizes up to, I believe, 5X. So me with my <laughs> more uh, generous figure uses a 3X, and there was no problem getting that. And that basically looks like it's the, the uh, maybe the patent filing for the uh, flux capacitor. So got... Dr. E. Brown Enterprise, Flux Capacitor, Temporal Field Capacitor, uh, with his autograph, and one of one. Input 1.21 gigawatts, and a bunch of information about the notes on it. So, pretty nicely detailed shirt, and again, the uh, fabric feels good. Um, oh, it's a Gildan shirt. I do have quite a few Gildan shirts, and they fit nice, and they're comfortable. Next, we have... Dr. Emmett L. Brown. That's a pretty decent pop figure. The box is a little bent up on it. It's not too, too bad, though. The detail work on him looks good. Let's get him out of the box so he can breathe a little bit. We'll see, up close and personal, how our good friend Dr. Emmett L. Brown looks. So the sculpting on him is pretty good. The paint is... Well done. There's not too much bleed over. The way the head is attached is a little odd. I don't know if you can see here, but it looks like it's supposed to be plugged in and it didn't quite match up and they just glued it anyways. He. This is obviously from the first movie when he's controlling the DeLorean with the remote control. Drives it right at Marty. Makes him think he's going to kill him. That's a typical Funko toy. Overall, I'd be happy to display that. In fact, you'll probably see it on one of my shelves in the near future. And he can rest over to the side. We have another pop uh, figurine. This is Cosmos. He's a vinyl bobblehead. Uh, so I believe that is in reference to the first Russian dog in space. You can see he's wearing a CCCP spacesuit. And he certainly is a bobblehead. Look at that. It's interesting. This is the first bobblehead I've seen where they're wearing a helmet. So, if you take a look here, his head bobbles inside the helmet. And the helmet's completely stationary. That's, it, it seems like it's well made. Most of the uh, Funko Pop stuff is pretty decently made. Um, they're known as a collectible. I mean, they wouldn't have lasted so long if they were making super junky stuff, right? Let's see what else we got in here. 
we have Back to the Future Out of Time card game. Uh, sorry, it's a dice game, not card game. It's for two to six players, takes 15 minutes, and age 18, or age 8 plus. <laughs> 18 plus would be a completely different game. I guess that would probably be some sort of drinking game. Back to the Future Out of Time is a fast-paced dice game for up to six time travelers. This Push uh, Your Luck dice game is 15 minutes of fast fun that pits players against each other in a race to hop in their DeLorean and power up the flux capacitor to 1.21 gigawatts. Slow and steady won't win the race when you when your rolls make can also be used by your opponents, so put the pedal to the metal and gun the fun up to 88 miles per hour. Uh, the description kind of reminds me of a game I play called Zombie Dice. Uh... I wonder if it's going to be a similar thing. Zombie dice, you have to try and eat so many brains, and you roll the dice, and if you get shot, then you lose brains, or you, if you get shot three times, then your turn's over, that type of thing. Well, my wife and I are partial to board games, so I think that will definitely get played. Let's see what else we have in here. We have a couple of mini figurines. Adam, Bomb, and Friends. Two figures with stickers. Well, there's quite the collection to get. I don't think we need to look at both of the backs, but let's see. We have such classic, uh, we have such classics as Nasty Nick, Dead Ted, Adam Bomb, <laughs> Adam Bomb. That's a pun. Um, TV Stevie, Corroded Carl, Creepy Carol, Brainy Janie, and a banana buggy. Ah, you get the idea. They're all silly horror-related names. Well, let's take a look and see what we've got. Sorry, collectibles. Uh, ooh. Well, there's no painting to be had on these guys. They're just molded plastic. Um, let's see who this is supposed to be. I don't see him on the list. Well, what should we call him? We shall call him Mushroom Mike. Mushroom Mike is a fun guy whose turn-ons include walks on the beach at sunset. Thanks, Mushroom Mike. Who will be next? Oh, does not want to come out. We have some sort of flying dragon that farts fire. I kid you not. That is definitely a plume of fire shooting out his butt. This one has some painting on it. The painting's... Ah, uh, look at look what's happening with the teeth here. Uh, he certainly looks a little goofy. Uh, yeah, that's not really my thing. Quality on that's not fantastic. Shall we push our luck and see if we get something better in bag two? I bet you we don't. Ages six and up. Let's see. Well, we have... I don't know. Should I even be bothering to look these guys up? Eh, I don't see him. Okay, this guy is Stretch Face Stevie. That's what we're going to call him. He's got a stretched face, and he's all blue. Is he the same blue as Mushroom Mikey here? Yeah, it certainly looks like it. So... It looks like each package, based on my full observations of exactly two of them, comes with one painted one. Uh, this guy's going to be Brainy Brian, because he's got a brain, and Brian rhymes with brain. Um, yeah, so each one has a painted one and a non-painted one. The painting on them's not fantastic. There's certainly... Uh, it's hard to see the detail in this, but there's definitely black paint that's bled over from the boots onto his hand. Or the plastic, I think the plastic is actually probably just black and they missed the paint on the hand there. Um, they're made of rubber. Mm. Twist them all the way around. Uh, yeah, again, not not really my thing. It's funny, like they missed the details on the hands, but they got the paint decently on the glasses, so go figure. And we got some stickers with it as well. So we've got Brainy Brian and Stretch Face Steve. Uh, nope, that, that person's name is Patty Putty, and this one's Brainy Janie. I think we might have actually seen Brainy Janie on the list. Probably shouldn't have missed that. What else? Oh, here we go. This guy's name is Fiery Francis. 
I know somebody named Francis, and they're definitely getting that figurine. And Adam Bomb. Ah, it's a mushroom cloud coming over his head. Not an actual mushroom. Ah, don't we look foolish. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have a The Collector's Case pin. I hope they don't include one of these in every single one of them, unless it changes from month to month. But that looks like a pretty generic pin, so I don't really need 12 of them a year, you know? Uh, overall, it's, it's a good pin. We have in here the November collector's case. And there's a layout of what we've got. So, let's see. We've got the non-sports update, Rogue One is right. Star Wars story, uh, Dr. Emmett Brown, Bunko Vinyl Pop, the Out of the Out of Time Back to the Future Dice Game, Gardens of the Galaxy Cosmo, Garbage Pail Kids, Minikins, so I guess that's in the like Minikin Shopkins, that whole thing there, the t-shirt, and did you get an autographed 8x10 photograph in, in your case? Let us know at Chase the Case. I don't think we did. That certainly doesn't look like somebody from Back to the Future. We have some sort of display case? Huh. I don't know if that's just to protect what's underneath or if that's meant to be like keep your Funko guy in uh, pristine shape. Ah, and there's our Rogue One a Star Wars story, the non-sports update. An epic adventure comes to cards. Uh, I guess there's some sort of Star Wars related card game talked about in this box. We also have exclusive promo cards inside for Star Trek's 50th anniversary and Basil Wolver Basil Basil Wolverton the second? Details inside. Doctor Who ex Ah. Wow, English is hard. Uh, Doctor Who extraterrestrial encounters. Well, I'm going to ruin the collectability on this too because I kind of want to see these Star Trek cards. I am partial to Star Trek and let's see what's going on. I'm recording this before Star Trek Discovery comes out, and by the time this airs, we'll know if it was terrible or not. Well, we got a couple of books. We have the Non-Sport Price Guide, and we have the Non-Sport Update. Ooh. This must be our cards. Boldly going gold. Let's see what we've got, shall we? Autographed cards signed by all five captains. So the Star Trek 50th anniversary trading cards. Oh, what did we get? Well, that's... That's pretty nice. I wasn't expecting that. That is the Enterprise D. It's very subtle. It's black on black. It's a dark black gloss on a um, matte card. I, I genuinely like that. I mean, it's a simple thing, but look at that. That will get displayed somewhere for sure. And this, this I can guarantee will not. Not my thing. Wolverton's Women. Free mail away promo cards. Coming this Christmas, 2016. Oh, I think I missed that by almost a year. Well, and there's a full back page promotion for those autographed cards. That would be neat to get. We've got Cisco, Picard, Kirk, Janeway, and Archer. The one that time forgot. And there we have it. That is the collector's case unboxing the back to the future themed one overall i think it's actually quite a bit better than nerd block was the quality seems to be higher the content seems to be better for me the winners are definitely the shirt the uh back to the future emmett brown vinyl pop even the uh, cosmos one i think is pretty good i think that'll go nice on my wife's desk she's kind of fond of bobbleheads especially when they're cute as they are uh and the other winner, surprisingly enough, was the Star Trek card. I mean, again, just a simple card, but I really like the way that looks, and it's going to go up somewhere. Uh, the losers for me, well, mostly just these, to be honest. Um, 
the uh, the little garbage pail Shopkins type deals. But I'm sure there are people out there that would like that. That's just, it's not my thing. And um, that's the way it is. So I'll have to make sure they go somewhere so they don't get eaten by one of the cats. Anyways, I'm James. Thanks for stopping by Print and Play. If you like this video, toss me a thumbs up so I know if you want to see more of these in the future. If you're new here, subscribe and click the bell so you're notified when I put out new content. If you have another box you'd like me to look at in the future, go ahead and toss it in the comments below. And until next time, stay creative.